Hello and welcome to North 100 Showdown, a Canadian Highlander throwdown. I'm Wheeler, and joining me I got a Surge. Yo, what's up? We're about to play some Canadian Highlander. If you don't know what that is, or if you do know what that is and you want to see our deck list for today, you can check out the description down below. And of course, all this is brought to you in part by the folks over at patreon.com slash loading ready run which kind of implies we're the folks, but also you, the viewer that is supporting us over there, and of course on Twitch and YouTube as well. So let's get cracking. Because I'm playing eggs. <laughs> what a segue! Uh, artifact combo, draw a bunch of cards, play a bunch of eggs, maybe gain infinite life, maybe add infinite mana. Honestly, mm. world's my onion. Or my egg. Oh. <laughs> omelet? I, no. World's my omelet. What are your points? My points are... A uh, little thing called Black Lotus. Oh, good. Okay. And then Crop Rotation, Tolerian Academy, and Transmute Artifact. Only fair stuff. Mm. What about you? I'm also playing only fair stuff. This is a deck that I think I can say with some confidence that I may have been the architect of. This is Workshop Weenie. Uh, this is a deck that wants to play Mishra's Workshop mm -hmm. and as many low drop aggressive artifact creatures as possible. This, mm -hmm. this deck has one speed and it's beep beep. Okay. Uh, my points are Mox, Mox, Vault, Academy, mm -hmm. GTA. It's only Mox, nine. Mox, Vault, Academy, GTA. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No room for Hovermere? Look, I get a lot of gruff because of Hovermere, and I I did not... I, I thought about playing it, mm -hmm. but I play a couple of cute cards in this deck as it is, and yeah, no Hovermere today. You made the right call. How dare you? I really wanted to bring it in and just kill you with it, you know? It was... I really wanted to. All right, well, let's see if you can kill me with some other stuff, then. That's fair. Uh, you won the die roll, I right? I did, we yes. We kept sevens. Vault of Whispers. Okay. And then Inscribed Tablet. Uh, it's a new egg from Dominaria. <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead. Is there any other information, or is it just an egg? I look at the top five cards in my library. If there's a land that goes into my hand, uh, if not... Uh, the rest, I mean, all the rest get on put on the bottom and then I draw a card. Okay, so it's, it's an egg. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's an egg. It's I'm so happy right now. This is everything this deck wants to do. This is good for me. Mistra's Workshop. Okay, that's bad for me. Mox. Yeah. Mox Ruby. We're playing Highlander, not Vintage, right? Sure. Okay. Uh, I'm going to add three mana. Yeah. I'm going to cast a Bomat Courier. Beep, beep. I'm going to cast a Hope of Giraper. That's a bad one. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast a Bone Splitter. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to equip the Bone Splitter on the Bomat Courier. Yeah. Okay. Uh, beep, beep. Take three. <laughs> you got <a> 17. <laughs> Go. A little, a little fast for my liking. Yeah. And you exile a card for the. Oh, I do. You're courier. right. You're absolutely right. Play another artifact. Mm. I'm going to cast Moon Silver Key. Yep. Uh, go ahead. Untap. Untap. Draw for the turn. Fascinating. Uh, Blink Moth Nexus. Mm -hmm. uh, float three mana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, how was GTA? Mm -hmm. uh, give the GTA to the Hope of Gear Purr. Mm -hmm. uh, declare attacks for four. Oh, yeah. Attack trigger. I'm at 13, Surge. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Go. There's an interesting question, which is when I crack the hope. Yeah. That card, that, that is a very relevant line of text. Yeah. Yeah, it has the other, it has a, an activated ability. Sacrifice this until your next turn. Your opponent can't cast non-creature spells, uh, which against eggs is, it's basically a time walk. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not good for Wheeler. Can I take another hit? I mean, I can technically. Do I want to? Let's start with cracking and scribe tablet. Okay. So I reveal the top five cards in my deck. I put a land from among them into my hand, the rest on the bottom. 
Uh, but if I didn't reveal a card this way, I just draw a card. So we got Aether Spell Bomb, Tundra, Sungrass, or Moss Fire Egg, Second Sunrise, and an Eladamry's Call. So I have to take the Tundra. Okay. Which is okay. And these get put on the bottom in a random order. Now, do I want to play that Tundra? I'm going to play a Tundra. Okay. I'm going to tap two and play Walking Ballista for mm. one. Very good cow impression. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try and kill your Bomat Courier. My Bomat Courier is now gone. Mm -hmm. um, these two cards remain in exile face down. I never yep. get to know what they are. Yep. And then I'm going to pass. Untap. Untap. Draw for the turn. Polluted Delta. Mm -hmm. That's really clever killing the Bomac Courier, because then if I sack the Hope of Gear Per, I don't have... Trying to keep you low on threats. Yeah, that's very, very interesting. Put the Bone Splitter on the Hope of Gear Per. Mm -hmm. Pardon me. It's all good. Uh, we're going to crack the Polluted Delta here. Okay. We're going to grab ourselves a Blacky Bluey. Any interest in cutting? Uh, animate the Blink Pop Nexus. Yep. Uh, declare attacks. Uh, pump twice. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put you to five. five. GTA trigger. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to sacrifice Hope of Gear Per so you cannot cast non creature spells next I turn. I cannot cast non creature spells yeah. during my next turn. Yes. Okay. Pass. Am I playing any mirror? <laughs> Artifact with a mana ability. No. Mm. Rude surge. Mm. Well. I'm going to play a treasure vault. Mm. Okay. And I'm going to pass. All right. It's now my upkeep. No, you're good. Shrapnel blast. <laughs> That's not what I Sacrificing thought. Sacrificing Mox Ruby to hit you for five. Artifact with a mana ability. <laughs> um, I am going to... It'd be very awkward if this, if this didn't kill you here, but I thought you were ready for the creature spell, so I thought I'd go with burn to the dome. I'm trying to think of how I can survive. Yeah, uh, I do have a, I have a couple of ways to look through my deck. Um, I have this moon silver key, and I have a crop rotation in my hand. The thing about eggs is that you play a lot of weird utility cards, and so I'm trying to think if I have a way to survive a shrapnel blast. Is there a way that I can gain any life? An artifact card with a mana ability or base clan? That's probably not doing it. Um, oh. Is that... Two... I could do that. Okay. Oh! He found the line? He's going for it. I'm going to crack this to make a single treasure token. Okay. I'm going to immediately... 
Crack it for green. Treasure token. Yeah. Uh, floating a. Oh no, this doesn't work. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. dead. Alright, that's about the best that my deck can do. I'm just glad we got to see it once. It doesn't get much better than what we just saw. God, that's terrifying. Yeah, yeah. Beep, beep. Oh, it was gas gas off the uh, the Bomac Courier, too. Just gonna double check to make sure that I didn't have anything that I could get. Alright. I'm fairly... Yeah, I'm short on blue mana for, like, the only potential out. I think I'm just short in general on it. Where um, I could technically crop rotation into a horizon land to get a draw. Mm, and okay. I have some ways of gaining life, but it doesn't it doesn't work. Um, the amount of mana there is right there. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm just glad I got to do that once. Yeah. You yeah, know? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Brutal. Yeah. Man, the workshop plus mock start? Oofa doofa. Oh. Oofa doofa. I was kind of happy. Like, well, I there was a false glimmer of hope where I was like, okay, well, you can't activate your Blink Moth and equip it with the GTA unless you hit a land or a mana source. Yeah. And you're a low land count deck. Um, and it didn't look like you were getting ready. If you drew the land, you would just kind of slam it. I'm like, okay, I think I can do this. I think I can survive. And then it's a Shrapnel Blast, and I know I can't survive that. <laughs> exactly five. It's funny, Shrapnel Blast is a card I've gone back and forth on including into this deck. Mm -hmm. And this version is playing a little bit more burn than normal. Yeah. And um, turns out, five to the dome is pretty good. It's pretty you know? good. You're, you're good. Game's gotta end. Yeah. Uh, I will keep this. I'm going to keep my hand as well. Good luck to you, my friend. Good luck. I'm going to play a Marsh Flats. I'm going to <clears throat> sacrifice it down to 19, getting a Savannah, and I'll play a top. Oh, man. That is a card I haven't seen in a long, long time. It's good to see you, Sensei. It pops up from time to time. <laughs> uh, go ahead. All right. We're going to go Seat of the Synod, mm -hmm. Mox Sapphire, uh -huh. into Patchwork Automaton. Christ. <laughs> yeah. Not bad. I was wondering if there's a different sequence where like, I play this and then cast the Mox after, but getting it out on turn one in this deck seems, it's just seems such a pretty good, good. Yeah. Go to you. Uh, draw. Odawar. Mm. Kaleido Stone. Uh, two mana artifact, draw a card on ETB, and I can pay five generic and crack it to add Wooburg. Mm. Draw. Go ahead. Untap. Draw for the turn. Uh, great Furnace. I'm not, I'm playing a land, an artifact, pardon me. I'm not casting an artifact, so mm -hmm. I don't get the plus one, plus one there. But uh, cast Bomat Courier. It's back. Not again. Uh, red and a blue. Cast Scrap Heap Scrounger. Oh, God. Okay. And then I will attack you for four attack trigger. Card goes under the Bowmat Courier. 15. Go. Oh, boy. Uh, in my upkeep, I'm going to spend top. Like that, draw. Uh, play a Dark Steel Citadel. And I will play a Walking Ballista on one. We've seen a lot of Ballista. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, go ahead. My poor Bomac Courier is not long for this world. Inventor's Fair. Oh, that's a good one. 
It's a very good one. Uh, tap one, cast Hope of Gearper. That's also a good one. Trigger. Yep. Attacks. Mm-hmm. Beep, beep. Yep. I'm going to put the Ballista in front of your Patchwork Automaton. And then, and then I'm, I'm assuming she's on a carrier. Yeah. Quick counting. That's fine. Okay. Take three. Yep. I right, go to twelve. I'm going to cast uh, Pia Nalar. Mm, very good. So when Pia enters play, I get a one-one colorless Thopter creature token. Yep. Uh, two active abilities. Target artifact gets plus one plus zero oh until end of turn. And mm -hmm. second artifact, target creature can't block. Sure. Go to you, and that's not an artifact spell, so Patchwork Automaton doesn't trigger. Okay. <clears throat> Draw. I was really hoping I'd have more time to not die. Uh, I'm going to play Thopter Foundry. This mm. might help. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to cast a Lotus Petal okay. as well. Uh, go ahead. You gain one from Adventure's Fair. Thank you, I do. You have access to one mana? Uh, two, two mana. Two mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve? No, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Trundle. I'm going to pay I'm going to tap my top and hold priority and I'm going to pay one and sacrifice it to make sure. a thopter and gain a life. Yep. Uh, so that goes there. I get a thopter. I go up to 13. Uh, draw from tapping the top. Uh, and then I'm going to crack my Lotus Petal to sacrifice Colita Stone to gain one and make a Thopter token. All right, before blocks. Yep. I had 12. I had 12. Because mm. I can pump mm -hmm. and I can no block, no block. Mm -hmm. But I forgot that you also gained life, mm -hmm. which is a little unfortunate. Um, but I still do that. And that means I have no blue sources. Well, hold on. Worst case scenario, you block here and you probably block the Hope of Gear per. Maybe not. Maybe you just block these two to take the least amount of damage. You take four. You know what? That's fine. Go to blocks. One here and one here. So you'll take one, two, three, four, five, six? Yep. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I go to eight and your Hope of Gear dies. Yeah. Uh, second main, I'm going to cast Reality Heist. Yeah. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six artifacts left. Yeah. So blue, blue. Look at the top seven cards of your library. You may reveal two artifacts from them and put them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom in a random order. Yeah. God, I wish that were me. Uh, I'm going to reveal Vault of Whispers and Master of Ethereum. Yep. And this is the bottom in a random order. 
I'm going to play the Vault of Whispers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast the Master of Ethereum. You don't have blue. I'm going to play the Vault of Whispers. I'm mm -hmm. going to cast Nettlesis. Oh, that's worse! <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Um, so Nettlesis is a living equipment that gets plus one, plus one for every artifact and or enchantment that I have. Uh, so it's currently one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is an eight, eight. Okay. 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 We can do this. Go. We just need... Uh, I'll take a Toyerian Academy. I'll take a Lion's Eye Diamond. Something. Well... <laughs> Something. I'm going to play as though I don't know about the Master of the Theory. That's fair, yeah. Um, I have to hit multiple. Crack in that. That seems bad. That seems so bad. Um, that seems. Oh, okay. One of the lines I was trying to think about isn't even legal. So <laughs> let's go. Let's go for uh, a live by the draw seven, die by the oh, draw. Oh, are we seven. wheeling? Yeah, but in a... But no, this card you don't know. <laughs> so I have some artifacts that I can play out, but I don't actually have enough mana to like reliably do it. Like I could cash in... Oh, but if you stumble or anything, right? Uh, well, if I play... Like I could play an egg and then sack this and an egg and I go up to nine and you prevent one from blocking, and this blocks that, and then I'm taking one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'm taking 11 here, so I die already. It's target creature can't block, not yeah. target creature can't be blocked. So no, I can... No, 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 you, you just make it so that one of my Thopters can't block. Mm -hmm. So I can only block one, which oh, is the biggest creature. Interesting, so okay. So I die that way. Mm. So what I have to do instead of that is cast yeah. this Fabricate. Oh, okay. Fabricate. Fabricate in the Lotus, probably? This is going to be one of the instances, the rare instances, where I have to get Lion's Eye Diamond. Oh, interesting. So I'm going to get, and we'll shuffle in a second. Because that means you've got Lotus in hand. <laughs> I'm going to crack LED for three blue, discarding my hand, which includes this Echo of Eons. Special Altar by Jerry T. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to flash back this Echo of Eons. All right, so hold on. So you've got... You've got six mana floating right now. No. No? You'd have... No. So, hold on. Fabricate. I tapped three for Fabricate. All right, so walk me through how you can flash... Oh, because the flashback is for three. I'm yes. sorry. Yes, yes. I understand now. So three yes. for Fabricate on Lion's yes. Eye Diamond. Play Lion's Eye, crack it, which discards my hand, adding three blue, mm -hmm. which means that Echo is now in my graveyard, so yeah. I can flash it back. All right. Let's both draw seven. You have not played a land for the I turn. not played a land. So you're hoping for Academy... And then some, like, free eggs or something like that? I'll take an Academy, I'll take a Lotus, I'll take a Greenland plus a uh, Crop Rotation. Um, I could kill you from here. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Which Live is... by the draw seven, die by the draw yeah. seven, you know? Or I could maybe survive. I'll take one of the two. I will ask you to cut my deck out. Sure, so. oh, absolutely. Okay. Would you like to cut mine? No, that's fine. Give me something good, Surge, please. Alright, let's see it. I mean, I'll just throw it on the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, Great Land. Furnace, face reward. An egg. Tamashi. Okay, that's a piece. Uh, Waterlog Grove. So if you get, if you get uh, Lotus Tablet. with that, you're, all, you're game on, right? Or so. No, too clunky. I'm done. All right. GG's. Well, we say GG's, but 
I'd like to offer you a game three if you'd sure. like. This has been this has been very fast. This has been very one sided. And I'll I take a G three. Yeah, we'll do we'll do a quick game three here. You know. I'll take a game three. These artifact decks, they have all this unfair <laughs> mana. <laughs> well, it's so funny because people are often like, man, how do you beat combo? Do you need disruption? Do you need counterspell? Do you need hand attack? And like, attack their life points directly. You need fists. Mm. <laughs> That's how you beat them. Or teeth, I guess. But. Yeah, but I mean, I had workshop mock start into mock start, you know? Like, I've been I've been quite fast here. Yeah, there's a, there's a chance that I am under estimating your speed mm. and that I should be this deck mulligans pretty well um to like more aggressive hands uh so maybe I should try to be matching that but I don't know I got attacked for three on turn one <laughs> <laughs> like, even and then goblin I, players are sweaty and right? you time walked me with the hope of gear yeah, so it's yeah. like okay, all right great well I mean I had Bomat courier and hope both games yeah. And you've answered it both games with Walking Ballista. It's so funny how um, similar games can be in a 100-card singleton. Yeah. Right? Like, it's it's uncanny sometimes. It's just one of those things. Like, you can play, like, 10, 20 matches after adding a new card to your deck, and you're like, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> yeah, how's it been? No idea. No yeah. idea. No idea. Uh, you're good. All right. All right. Good luck. Yeah, I hope you get lands and spells. And, uh... I will not be extending the same courtesy to you. All right, I'm mulling. I'm mulling. I have a really bad hand. I'm keeping. Oh, good. All right. Okay. Got a reasonable hand here. I love this deck so much. This has always been kind of a pet deck of mine. Yeah. But um, I'm so proud of you for the hover mirror. Oh, thank. I cut hover mirror. Pet cards are important in Canland. Yeah. Because honestly, once you get to like the 90 cards of your deck, the last 10, you can just, it's whatever. You can muck around, you can customize, and like, like it's important to have fun with mm. your deck. Yeah, you're fine, right? Um, but then there are some cards where you're just actively hamstringing yourself. Okay. <laughs> what are these days where you just mull the five? Yeah. It's fine, this deck mulls well. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't even know if that's true. Well, here's the thing. Here's a tip about playing against eggs. Uh, I play draw sevens. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. We're not as all in on our draw sevens uh, as we used to be. Mm. But um, there are still times where, like, I will consider a turn one kill to be, <laughs> like, a turn one time twister. Yeah, you're fine. I, uh, I'm going to be honest with the Wheeler. I also play some draw sevens. Hmm. Speaking of which, I drew a draw seven and no lands. Mm. Second five. Second five. Let's go to second five. <laughs> second five is more interesting than four. I've seen two lands and 21 cards. How many cards are you playing? Or lands are... How many cards are you playing? <laughs> 100. <laughs> okay, 100. 32 and uh, double moxin. Uh, triple moxin, technically. Oh, yeah, that's plenty. Yeah, in a, in a deck with this kind of curve. Yeah. We've got, uh, we've got what we like to call a uh, statistical anomaly. Right here, you know. You gotta love it. Offers the game three, spends the next 30 minutes shuffling. Yeah. <laughs> and we're out of time! Anyways, thank you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cut me, cut me into something good here. Awesome. There we go. Not bad for a five card hand. It's not bad for a five. I put you away and I put you away. Okay. We could do it. Yeah. Good luck, friend. Good luck. Ooh. Treasure Vault. Mm hmm. Uh, into a Terrarian. Go ahead. Man. It's not that threatening. Urza's Saga. That's threatening. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> yeah. But I have nothing to cast off it because I'm all the five. Go. Oh. Huh. Marsh Flats. 
crack it. Finding a Savannah, and I'll cast Selden Scrying. Finding a Tolerian Academy. That's scary. Academy. Uh, right. Go ahead. So, just because sagas are weird, mm -hmm. I get the mana regardless, so there's a saga, mm -hmm. and I draw... Main, you draw, and then uh, after your draw step, which is your main phase... Yeah, 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 yeah. You get... You get all the shenanigans, yeah. Draw, put that on two. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Man. So I need to ask myself, is it better to play a two drop or get the value out of that? I think I'm going to play the two drop. I think I'm going to play the two drop. Uh, we're going to go with Volcanic Island. Mm -hmm. um, red and one into a new card. Well, newish card, Kamigawa. Lizard Blades! Oh. This is a two mana one one with double strike. Equip creature has double strike and reconfigures for two generic. Terrifying. And I'm going to say a go to you. Cut on my deck. It's good luck. <laughs> uh, draw. Um. Well, you're not dead. <laughs> oh, I love this format. I love that you have an egg and two mana, <laughs> and you're like, well, it's turn three, and I'm on the play. I know how it sounds, but... Uh, no, I love it. I love it. I'm here for it. Scrabbling Claws. Exile stuff. Yeah. Uh, Chromatic Star. Okay. Workshop now adds four. Mm -hmm. They're not Workshop Academy, pardon me. I'll play Tolerian Academy. Yeah. Uh, I'll tap it for four blue. I'll go down to one... Well... I've been calling it right now. He's going to say, you're not dead. Wait, sorry, I drew the card. Yeah, you're dead. The correct thing is to do this. Uh, I'm going to crack the Terrarian yep. into... Dead if I draw. <laughs> no, I have the I have the star. Okay, yeah, I'll into three and a white. Yeah. Uh, draw. Fascinating. Uh, I think I'll hold that. Um, don't think I need to play around the wasteland. Eh. I will. Yeah, I'm just gonna cast this. I'm right, gonna, I'm gonna, mana. I'm gonna burn for one. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna cast Tomashi. Oh. Reality Architect. Now this is a card we've seen mention of, but never actually seen resolve. Because like every time you're like, oh, Tamashi, this is a win con. Yeah. So I need to walk, uh, watch out for your three different lotuses, because you can kind of make a, not an infinite amount of mana, but a big amount of mana. Yeah, so whenever a non-creature permanent is returned to hand, I draw a card. So this is on either side. Oh, wow. One or more non-creature permanents. Yep. Uh, and I can pay X and a white to return a land I control, to return an artifact or enchantment with mana value X or less from my graveyard to play. But I can only do it as a sorcery. Yeah. So with Black Lotus, uh, for every land I have, I get to add three mana. That's really cool. And it's another way to untap your academy too, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a big thing. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and there's some loops. You can do a whole sure. bunch of stuff with it. Uh, go ahead. All right. Now, I want to double check the interaction here. This is mm -hmm. going to go up to three, and I'm going to be able to tutor for it. But I can also float the one. Correct. And I could also make the golem if I wanted to, there, right? Well, if you had, you would need two mana plus this on yeah. the face. But yeah, you go to your main and act. you can activate an yeah. ability or add mana. So we'll draw. This is going to go to three. I'm going to float the one. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to sacrifice it and I'm going to go get myself an moxin, almost certainly.
So sad, shuffling away an ancient tomb. Put it onto the battlefield. Wait, wait. Onto the battlefield. Urza Saga. I'm gonna get Mana Vault instead. Ooh. That seems way cooler. Seems more explosive. Yeah. You're like tier one galaxy brain mox, tier two galaxy brain, you're like mox opal, tier three galaxy brain, <laughs> mana vault. And we haven't seen it in, um, all well, the games have not gone super long. I think the most heads up one I've seen somewhat recently was someone getting an aether vial off of it, like late in the game and just keeping it at two, and then they would just vial in threats against a blue deck, and the oh. blue deck would just like, they weren't playing any spells. Oh. This card is it's so good. It Urza's is, Saga yeah. is very, very, very good. All right, so I got this Mana Vault. Mm -hmm. Would you like to cut? No. I need a little bit of explosiveness against you here. I've already drawn mm -hmm. for the turn. Uh, we're going to play this Seat of the Synod. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we're going to potentially waste a mana here. Because we got Urza! I'll respond. Scrabbling Claws, uh, exile your Urza Saga. Urza is unfortunately happening. <laughs> All right, when Urza enters the battlefield, get a 0, zero colorless construct token equal to the number of artifacts that I control, four, four. Uh, which is currently a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, we saw. You love to see it. Uh, let's use blue for this. <clears throat> I've got one floating. Uh, I'm going to tap one and one for a Psy Master Thopterist. Yep. Okay. It's a different kind of pressure. It's not the pressure that's attacking your life total directly. Uh, but next turn. Next turn. Next turn, gadget. Uh, let's see if I live that long. So here you go. Depends on what I draw. Well. I'm going to play a Sungrass or a Sky Cloud egg. I'm really off my egg game. The names. Um, well, that one's in German, so that's all coming from memory anyways. Yeah. <laughs> like Himmel Vulcan. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to add four blue to my pool with Toyerian Academy. Yeah. I'm going to use two of this to filter uh, my egg into a white and a blue. And I draw a card. Um, I'm going to use a white and one to return Tolarian Academy to my hand. Sick. To return this yes. to play. Yes, yes, I love to see it. Uh, I draw a card from Tomashi. Okay. I'm going to play my land for the turn, which oh, is Tolarian Academy. Oh, it's Academy. Where'd that come from? It's a new edition. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play a Chromatic Sphere. Okay. Um... I'm going to cycle this chromatic star into a, uh, well, <laughs> into a, uh, I'm going to add five. All right. Up to six. Yeah. Then I'm going to cycle it. Okay. Uh, into a white. Draw. Or draw. Okay. Uh, play a Mox Opal. See, this is the eggs that I'm used to. Sometimes eggs just kills you out of nowhere, and sometimes eggs is just like. I'll take my time. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cycle this like 17 times. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm gonna go to four blue. I'm going to sack this, exiling, exiling my marsh flats. Oh, so you have to exile a card you with do. it. Interesting. Yeah, you okay. Need a target. Yeah. Uh, draw a card. 
Okay. Uh... <laughs> I yeah. love that you do that after every one you draw. Yeah, there's so this deck's hard to play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so uh, I'm going to transmute this Tolaria West. Okay. Uh, You've already played a land for the turn, but yeah. it lets you get any zeros too. Yes. So I am going to get a Black Lotus. Yep, that, that's, a <laughs> that's a good one. This, correct me if I'm mistaken, this might be the first time a Lotus has appeared on Showdown. I think so. Look upon it. Ooh. It's only a collector's edition one. Okay. Don't play with the real one. That's fair. I don't understand what goes through people's head when they do that. I guess they might already have a mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, some of us have other ideas. Um, I am going to <clears throat> cycle this egg, which, so this mana, I'm going to play this Lotus, by the way. Okay, Lotus is um, in play. Or sorry, I'm not going to play this Lotus. All right, that's fair. Lotus is in your hand. I'm going to cycle this egg for exactly white and a blue. Okay. Draw. I'm going to cycle this uh, for a white. Now, when you're sitting across from the egg player, if they're making that face and those noises, you're probably not dead yet, but you could be dead at any second. I have drawn five, uh, six lands. If we include the Tolarian oh, no. West. <laughs> uh, maybe five. Uh, so I want to use that on that. I think it's not a super exciting line. Um, you have two cards in hand? I have two cards in hand. They are both gas. One, two, three. Sorry, one, two, three. Is that yeah. what you mean by? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to Odawara your construct. Oh, that's big. I was going to hit you for so much damage next turn. <laughs> Oh, I will play my black. You... Yeah, yeah. All right, let's let's let's. Yeah. So we just noticed a misplay here. Let's back stuff up just a quick second. Put Oro Orowar back in the hand because right. you, you didn't have enough mana at the I time. Have Metalcraft. Yeah. yeah. So cast Black Lotus. Now you've got now I Metalcraft have that's on. Yeah, and then we'll bounce yeah. the Construct token. There we go. Uh, that'll be a pass. I was gonna hit you so hard with that Construct token. I know it was terrifying. All right, uh, take one off the Mana Vault. If I rip a Black Source, this gets kind of cool. That's kind of like a black source. No. I don't get to do as much this turn. Yeah, sometimes you just do the boring line. Uh, one, two, three. Wow, I almost don't have Metalcraft. Uh, Galvanic Blast for damage to your... Tomashi. Your Tomashi. And then I'm going to attack you... Is it better to... Yeah, it's just double strike. <laughs> These are all one power creatures. I'm going to hit you for one, two, three, four damage. So right. first strike and then go three. 15. And say go. And touch. Draw. Oh. See this side now. Yeah. Ella Damry's call. Oh, is it Bomberman it's time? Bomberman. It's Bomberman time. So this... Oh, this is so cool. So I get to find a creature. Yeah. I'm going to find my main mench, Oriox Salvagers. Oh, amazing. Uh, where's that? Where's that bad boy? Man, I should I should have saved the Galbanic Blast. What are the chances? I do, for what it's worth, I do like saving the Galvanic Blast. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, waiting for you to try and start looping something with the Tameshi and stuff like that? Well, I guess we'll show, attack. Yeah. yeah, show me something, let me commit, I guess, or like save it for the, um, for maybe killing me. I don't know. It's fine to get rid of Tameshi, it's just... But like, if I kill it first, it does prevent you from one draw trigger. Yeah. So, like, that's worth, right? Like, because yeah. if you crack the Lotus, I, it might already be too late at that point. Because even if I if even if even I shoot it in response, you can activate and bring a land back to draw a card, even if you can't get the Lotus. So no. I can only use this ability at sorcery speed. Oh! Um, and so I think it, 
this deck can win like that. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. so I think it's worth risking at least one draw just on the off chance that I draw like a Scrap Trawler or an Oriox Salvager. Sure, something a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, so, so you've got a Salvager. What I, happens to I have this Salvager. It's a four mana 2 4 that you pay one in a white to return an artifact with converted mana cost a one or less to your hand. So I'm going to sack this Black Lotus for three white mana. Mm -hmm. Well, first I'm going to tap this Tolarian Academy for one, two, three, for three blue mana. Mm. Uh, I'm going to then crack the Black Lotus for three white mana. Um, I'm going to cast Oriox Salvagers. So I'll use the three and then two, uh, or th sorry, three and the one of the white. Yeah. So now I have two white here and the Salvagers. Uh, I'm going to pay, I'll, I'll do this the proper way. Yeah. I'll pay one white and one of anything to try to return Black Lotus to my hand. You're good to go. Comes back to hand. I play it. I crack it for three white. So now I'm up to four. This lets me add infinite mana. Yep. Of any color. Of any color. So you have infinite of Wooburg. Yep. Now, the question is, oh, you can now infinitely loop through all of your eggs, right? I get to return yeah. any of these eggs, or yep. all of them. Yep. Um, and then draw cards off the top of my deck right. until I hit something walking ballista or whatever I mean, yeah. so i was i thought maybe it was just infinite mana i forgot about the infinite draws until you hit the walking ballista yeah. for the win neat 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 i'm so glad we got to show people bomberman so combo to, that's so slick yeah heck yeah cool well thank you for the games my friend thank you for the games this has been an absolute blast as always any sort of closing thoughts on this Artifacts are a hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> it's you could do some really gross stuff. Yeah. And uh, whether it be combo or aggro, yeah, you can get away with it. I, I'm kind of sad that I didn't get to put the uh, lizard blades on the construct token and hit you for a million. That would have been really cool. Uh, <laughs> I would have died as well, so I you know, wanted to avoid that just a bit. All right, bit. take us out, my friend. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about anything we did, all the decks and all that jazz, you can check out the description down below. Uh, and you know, you can let us know in the comments section, are there any certain matchups or archetypes you would like to see for future videos? Uh, of course, we couldn't do this without the support we receive from patreon.com slash loading ready run. It's because of all of you that there's all of you. Uh, the second you being the blue mana added with Tolarian Academy. Infinite amounts, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I've been Wheeler and will probably still be Wheeler. Uh, Serge, thank you for joining me. Oh, always a pleasure. Glad to be here. And we'll see you next time. Bye.